right now. Four-time angler of the year. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking like a leaf. Former FOW Cup champion. That's what I'm talking about. God has blessed me so tremendously in my career. All right, so this is the start of Lake Chickamauga. Now you can see me at a gas station. What you haven't seen is I've been here at the gas station parked under this light for at least 30 minutes rig and tackle. Uh, FLW has always had a day off and because of this virus, they took the, they've taken that day off. So I've literally been, woke up early, came here to the gas station with light, been rig and tackle, uh, fished again, Late, you guys saw my practice video. Uh, fished again late and didn't really, I don't really feel that good. Uh, Grafted a lot of fish deep. Uh, I think my plan today is to go shallow. And of course, you guys know when I'm going to be throwing. Uh, but rig and tackle, not having a day off has been, it's a hard, it's a, that day off is so valuable to me. So, we're gonna get this show on the road here, and hopefully I can come away with the big bag in this deep of water, not that deep of water. He's a long one. We just got here to some offshore grass. He looks long. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. 15 and a half inches. That's a really good sign. I know you guys haven't seen it. As you can tell, it's breaking up. That's number four for today. Uh, it was pouring down rain in this morning, carrying on, and uh, I... I didn't run my GoPros this morning. It was only supposed to rain for an hour or so, and then it's, it actually did it a little bit longer. But that's number four for today. And, and I have this is an open water grass area. Hopefully, I come through here the other day, had five bites the other day in a sh very short amount of time. So hopefully, we can figure them out. That's gonna be a limit right there. Good move, good move. That's gonna be a limit. Oh. Man, I know this ain't the type that's gonna win it, but I'm excited to have a limit. I wish you could have seen it. He skyrocketed like 10 foot out of the air. Whew. You can see like a huge rain cloud coming to us. I hate taking my rain suit off and on, off and on, off and on. <sighs> I might just, I might just let it get wet. Get wet, that's a big storm. But he's a keeper. He's a keeper. <laughs> you have that beautiful dock 
and then he wants to sit beside one little isolated pole. That's crazy. That yep, ain't gonna help. He ain't gonna help, boys. Skinny. Skinny mini. I had to hesitate for a second throwing him back. Cause I was thinking, I was thinking major league fishing style. That's a big one. That's a big one. But that one ain't gonna make the cut. I can tell you that already. It's a long, skinny one, but he ain't gonna make the cut. It's a keeper. He ain't gonna help. He ain't gonna help. I was afraid to set the hook hard. As you can tell, look at this. Look at my line, frayed all up. It was a metal post there. I was afraid to uh, set the hook hard because I figured it was gonna break it. Look at that. <sighs> Thinking ahead. Biting that jig, man, pretty good on these docks. I probably need to just start going wide open on these docks. I can't get out there on them darn ledges, man. I, I tried a couple of them out there and boats all over my. I, I can't do it, man. My stress level is too too much, man. I can't. I can't take it. Yep, that one, that one will probably cool. They are biting this jig right now, and I normally don't even fool with jigs. They are biting it. Whew. Let's see if this one will cool. I'm gonna say, just don't know. Just don't know. I don't know if he helped, but that's what we throw him back. Yeah, man. Live it in the bag for Dudley on day one, 14 pounds, four ounces for you, brother. 
23rd place right now. He has taken the top 50 on the day three, so I need a solid consistent day two. Oh. Thank you. Are y'all just now eating supper? Huh? What are you getting? Oh, my man is throwing down a Miller Light. Aw, that's a cute beer. This video is not sponsored by Miller Light. Uh, it's sponsored by Proficiency, Proficiency Rods. Proficiency Rods. So yeah, you know about Proficiency Rods. These are the rods I've been using for the last two years. And me and Bailey are on Proficiency Rod team. So if you're not familiar, with Bailey, you need to follow him yeah, and all the social medias. Aw, Kyle. What are you doing, What's Kyle? Happening? I gotta be the cleanup person here this week. What are you talking about? I always clean up. Yeah. <laughs> always. Every time I, You're every... right, Dave. You're always right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you have, I, I predicted you'd have 1315 today. What did you have? 1315. Dang! Always I'm right. always right. I'm always right. So look, we're 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 sitting pretty good. We're all in the check range, okay? So in this tournament, they pay ten thousand dollars <throat> down to a hundredth place, and we're sitting okay. So it's always good when you get paid. This late, you saw me today start shallow, stay shallow, and then right at the end of the day, you saw me catch that one on the 10XD. It was the only hole that I found open that I could fish. I don't like getting out there in that stressing out. Bailey had a off, Bailey had a guy pull up on him today on a small hole, got his blood pressure up. Oh, it uh, it was pumping. I mean, I was about ready to jump in that dude's boat and throw some hands. I'd like to see what everybody I was, I was close. I'm telling you, I was fired up. I'm not going to lie. Did you have any terrible. anybody pull up on you, Kyle? No, I was in the middle of nowhere all by myself most of the day. That's so. the way I, when I come here, that's the way I want it. I don't want to get, no. I just, I can't take no, it. I was so. all good on my end. So look, day two is going to be tomorrow. And we need to, it's at least going to drop a pound for sure. So it's going to drop one pound. And we got to secure a $10,000 check. Granted, guys, I know I want to win, but I've almost conceded to the fact that it's going to be one offshore. I didn't find any secret holes, so I'm kind of at, at the thing. I'm just scrapping to just try to stay in the top 50, maybe advance tomorrow and get a, a better check, hopefully. But I got to secure it. Kyle's got to secure it. Kyle is actually doing really well in the points in this tournament even though he's in 65th place right now but technically he's probably like in 30th place in his point system so uh this is a super tournament so we're not competing for points kyle is and he's doing okay so all right guys day two we need it you need to catch him i'm predicting kyle because i'm always right so kyle Tomorrow is going to have 17 pounds, 13 Let's ounces. Bailey, I'm, I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling this, okay? Bailey's going to have 13 pounds, 14 ounces. And I'm going to have 11 pounds, 12 ounces. I'm gonna be low. I'm gonna be low, like low man on the total pole tomorrow. Twelve times two. Uh, I don't know. All right, guys, we'll see. One fourteen. One fourteen. One fourteen. Yep. I think we are. David Dudley. If not, I can blame him. Yeah. He broke his leg. Check it, David. What? What time? Four fifteen. Four fifteen. All right. All right. Here we go, day two, but 114. We're in the middle of the pack, so I knew right off the giddy, in the middle of the pack on an offshore tournament, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get an offshore spot. You're just not gonna do it. So uh, I'm in the middle of the pack. You guys saw me yesterday for shallow most of the day and catch that big one. So day two, I need to have a couple big ones today, not just one. We need to, we need to, bump it up a little bit it gives me 
the weight yesterday gives me a little bit of curve uh, as far as getting a 10 grand check uh, for the next for this tournament so I got to at least catch 10 I, I figure 10 or 11 pounds to get a check and a couple big ones might get me in that top 50 I think I'm in the top 50 right now I'm in 40 what place am I in? 47 man my, my man is all over it um, I think I'm in 46th place right now so sitting on the edge of the top cut for the advancement to day three we got to make a move make a move guys I almost gave up on this area but patience paid off now we need to make a charge and catching this one for the first time again throwing a bladed bait yes and I did that feels big. That feels really big. That feels big. Oh yeah. Can you scoot up? Can can you? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Ooh Just when I said I couldn't get him to fire on that wacky worm, what sucks is he's in the tongue. He is in the tongue. That's not good. Anytime you get him in the tongue, that's two big ones. Patience. I was about to leave again, and I ended up catching a big one. He's probably going to die. Oh my gosh. All right. Just when I'm about to leave, I catch a big one. Again, twice. I might have to be patient. I don't know. Anytime you hook him in the tongue, like that's a kiss of death. More than likely he's gonna die. That's why I'm not a big supporter of uh, penalties, harsh, harsh penalties for dead fish because that fish right there was hooked in the tongue. That wasn't my negligence. That wasn't my irresponsibility. He just got hooked in the tongue and he's probably gonna die, but it is what it is. We've got two nice fish to start the second day, and we're looking good. A man's got this whole lake, this whole lake, and he's gonna drive 20 feet right where I'm casting in five foot flat, huh? And that guy's a veteran. He's been hit in this game forever, but that's who he is. I mean, I ain't even gonna give you his name, but that's exactly why, why there's unbelievable. 
a veteran doing something stupid like that. Oh yeah, there's a good one. Definitely going to be a keeper. Man, he's strong. Uh oh. Oh gosh, that's another good one. He ain't ready yet. take that one all day long thank you lord and he's not in the tongue look at that belly wow wow and he's got like a looks like a bluegill in his belly all right guys that is three good fish for sure and that one that i tongued earlier i told you was gonna die is gonna die so yep she's dead but came doing something I love to do you guys know I love me a wacky worm that's three good fish that I get two more good fish we're gonna be fishing making that top 50 for sure talking about somebody on TV oh gosh I don't know if he's long and Golly, look at that bass. Look at that bass. He's all scarred up. I know he's skinny. It's hard to judge a skinny. I don't think he's going to fit, but nope. We are getting there. That's a definite 15, and hopefully he's not toned. Gosh, man, that's the bad thing about wacky worms. You just never know. It's a lottery, but it came out nice and smooth, so he's a long one. I know he's probably going to make it for sure. 17, Seven, 17 inches, and that's number four. That one's at least two and a half, probably. That might be a keeper right there. This is not a jig day. I know that. Definitely not a jig day. It's a wacky worm day, but I don't think he's going to make it. He might. Oh, he's going to be close for sure. Oh, yeah. Look bigger than Jack. Oh, yeah, he's 15. No, I'm gonna say he's 15. Yeah. Wacky Worm Day. The final decision right here is my man. Oh, he's 15 and a half inches. He's a giant. Giant. That's number five. There you go. Huh? That 
might be a little bit bigger than that other one. Yeah. He looks like Yep, fifteen and a half. But I don't know if he's That one feels good. Yeah, boy. That one's gonna call. I got it. Oh. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, boys. That one's gonna call for sure. I ain't gonna tell you again. <laughs> look at that one that one right there is definitely going to cull i caught this little bitty spot and you can see that that's a call right there boy yeah oops i about did a boo-boo there see you little fat sucker Woo! I had to net him with the net closed. That's just dumb. All right, we'll try We ask these hard questions up here. We don't got nobody no <laughs> Woo! Caught him in the tongue. As soon as I caught him, I said he'll be dead in five minutes. He was. Dead in five minutes. That tongue is kissing death. David, it's good to see you, brother. Green you too. Yes, indeed. Put them in there, Dudley. I'll let you burn. See how your day treated you. Pretty darn good is what it did, man. David Dudley had 14 pounds, 14 ounces, or 4 ounces, 14.4 on day one. Limit in the bag. It gives day 16 pounds, 8 ounces, 23rd. All right, guys. 8.23. And I have finally gotten all my tackle the boat cleaned so again this is like a i woke up at four whatever 18 hour days whatever the math is people don't realize how much work we've done so since four this morning till 8 23 this afternoon we're finally done but we did it we actually did it we have made the third round so the next video is hopefully going to be uh me making a big charge i need to have a big charge to make that top 10. Um, i think we're sitting in 30th place right now and um hopefully we can make this top 10. and we got mr bailey over here i, I suck today well caught two bass hey he didn't suck he just he just made a little bad adjustment and it didn't pay off but you live from your learn from your mistakes all right guys the next video as you can tell my eyes are getting way heavy right now i've got to get a shower get in bed eat bailey's cookies bailey on the planet he bought them pre-made so all he did was take them out he, all he did was take them out of the little package and smash them into a round cookie but they're he made them out of the package okay all right bailey give them the outro yes bailey bailey give them just the wave and then point it come on yeah just like this and then wave it again right right at oh look at my man groove